Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my personal collection of cufflinks and talk to you a little bit about the various types of construction and styles. If you have any questions or comments in this video, please ask them in the comment section below. I enjoy getting back to all those questions personally. One of the beautiful things about cufflinks is that they are one of the few opportunities for a gentleman to wear jewelry in good taste. But also they present an incredible opportunity to display your individual style. In fact, some gentlemen are so well known for the types and styles of cufflinks that they wear that they've become their signature. I have cufflinks that I've inherited from my grandfather, Daddy Boy, that I'll pass on to my own children, which is another special thing about developing a collection of cufflinks over one's lifetime. Cufflinks come in several different types of constructions. The most common type of construction you'll find is the swivel back. Now this allows for a cufflink to feature just one side of jewelry, and because this barbell can be swiveled, it's very easy to insert it through the cuff. Uh, the problem with the swivel back is that you end up with one side of the cufflink that doesn't have any type of ornamentation or jewelry. Which brings me to the next few styles uh, that I personally enjoy more. Uh, the next style is what is called uh, the chain construction. Now the chain construction just has a simple chain that links the two sides. Uh, this is more commonly seen uh, with uh, jewelry on both sides, which I prefer. Uh, but again, it is a looser construction uh, and doesn't really secure uh, the French cuff as much as a solid uh, shank. Now here we have a, a pair of our Cotus Maya cufflinks that we sell here at the Hanger Project. Beautiful enameled motif, a solid uh, shank, but again, it doesn't have any type of ornamentation on the back. And finally, my favorite style of cufflink uh, is cufflinks with a solid curved shank, uh, but more importantly, with jewelry on both sides. Inevitably, whenever you're wearing cufflinks, uh, the jewelry at the top is the most visible, uh, but you still very easily see the jewelry at the bottom of the cuff. And that's why my favorite cufflinks are those with curved shanks and jewelry on both sides. And lastly, uh, you have your more common silk knot cufflinks. Now these are just fabric knots uh, that have an elastic shank, uh, and these come in many different styles and colors. Although silk knots are most commonly thought of as an informal cufflink, but a silk knot in a beautiful a silver and black could be very elegantly worn even with black tie. So next I'll share with you my personal collection of cufflinks and talk a little bit about how and where I wear them. Some of my most special cufflinks are associated with a story or a memory. And of course, my most cherished are the ones that I inherited from my grandfather, Daddy Boy, whom you heard me speak about in my watch collection video. My grandfather, Daddy Boy, was a prominent car dealer uh, in Houston during the 1980s. Uh, and you can see with his cufflinks right here that he has some that really pay homage to that career. One of his more interesting cufflinks is this one that is a reproduction of his business card. And again, you can see that this is so old uh, that it has a five digit phone number. One of my favorite pair and the pair that I was wearing whenever I got married uh, is this cameo motif of a Ford Model T set in a beautiful recessed engraving of roses. This is an absolute beautiful cufflink uh, and one that is very special uh, and also reflects a characteristic of his life that was very personal to him. I also have a set of cufflinks for my grandfather that was given to him as an award uh, for being inducted into the Ford Vice President's Club uh, in the early 1980s. And this is just another example of kind of the story behind cufflinks. You know, not only are they things that you buy throughout a lifetime, uh, but you can also receive them as very special gifts, which celebrate milestones in one's life. Right here, you can see a set of 18 karat white gold and yellow gold cufflinks that my wife actually gave me for Christmas while we were dating uh, that feature a hanger cameo. And I particularly enjoy wearing these, again, just because not only were they a gift from my beautiful wife, uh, whom I was dating at the time, but I also like them because they pay homage to how I began the hanger project. And then finally, some of my most formal cufflinks uh, certainly some that I consider to be amongst my most beautiful uh, are these lapis lazuli golden acorn cufflinks uh, that again my wife designed for me and gave to me as a gift for one of my birthdays. Uh, but I liked them so much that we now carry these on the hanger project. 
I love these golden acorn cufflinks so much that I had a set of matching dress studs designed uh, that I could wear uh, with formal black tie. You can find these on the Hanger Project sold individually or also as a complete set. And one of my most recent additions uh, is another cufflink that is very similar in design to the golden acorn, uh, but has an interesting flower design with a dark green jade. Again, it has the jewelry on both sides with a nice curved shank made in 18 karat gold. And I'm proud to announce in this video that we've just had these reproduced and are now making them available to you on The Hanger Project. Cufflinks can also indicate membership in an organization. At my club in London, at our annual meeting, you'll oftentimes find a lot of members wearing uh, their club cufflinks or their club tie. And it's just something that we do for camaraderie uh, and indicate you know, that we're all a member of this same organization. Now, personally, whenever I'm in Texas, I really prefer to wear barrel cuffs. Uh, but whenever I'm traveling to New York or London or on Sunday when going to church, I really take it as an opportunity to bring out my small but growing collection of cufflinks. Just like with pocket squares, yeah, I really encourage you, if you're not someone that is wearing cufflinks that often, to experiment with expanding the occasions in which you wear them. Yeah, I enjoyed sharing with you my cufflink collection. As I mentioned, many of these cufflinks are available on hangerproject.com. Take a moment to check out our collection of cufflinks on hangerproject.com. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And more importantly, if you have any stories about your own collection of cufflinks or any cufflinks that are just particularly special to you, please share those. I'd love to hear those stories. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell in the top right corner so that you know whenever we release new videos. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other products for the well-dressed. And while you're there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.